Aloha, it's Mama Sue, and I am at the Arizona Aloha Festival for 2022. This is an annual event. It is free to the public. It is a lot of fun to come to. They have food, they have vendors, they have dancing. It is all celebrating the Polynesian culture that is here in Arizona. And believe me, it is a vast, vast community. If you do have mobility issues, I do need to let you know. There are a lot of hills, a lot of slope. The area where the vendors are is not even, basically a, a park. So it is some uneven surfaces. If you need a scooter, you're definitely gonna want a scooter. If you need a wheelchair, you're gonna bring, need to bring a wheelchair. There is not a lot of places to sit, and there is not a lot of shading. So make sure you bring and come appropriate with your sunscreen, umbrellas, whatever you're gonna need. That said, let's go and enjoy ourselves today at the Aloha Festival. One of the really neat things here at the Arizona Aloha Festival is that they do have a cultural section where you can come over and learn how to play the ukulele. They have a children's section where you can go over and make things. They have a section over here that talks about genealogy and history uh, in Hawaii. So there's a lot of stuff you can do. They do have a canoe a boat race team that comes out here. And there's a lot of stuff out here that you can learn a lot about the culture. And this is a storyboard. And it was a Japanese after or before the war that came to Palau to teach them how to do 3D carving. You know, that is beautiful. Yeah. And this is a story of the brother Earth and the brother Sea. Of the yeah. And this as you can see that the stone money is over here. That stone money was quarried in Palau and brought to Yak. Hey, while you're watching the, the video here, if you like the content you're seeing, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of this content, definitely subscribe. And down in the description box, I'm going to have links to some of the vendors and to the Aloha Festival so that you can look into coming next year. So the sign here says, because it's probably not going to be able to see it, it says here that we are an Arizona-based company that makes Maui-style Hawaiian sauce based on a family recipe that originated in Kihei, Maui in the 1950s. So cool! And it's really good. You never know what you're going to find at the Aloha Festival. And food. It's all about the food and the, the Hawaiian cuisine. You just gotta try it. Uh, Hawaiian experience. experience. Spa. We okay. have three locations in the valley Goodyear, Chandler, and Scottsdale. Okay. And uh, we specialize in Hawaiian lomi lomi. What is that? That is a. Uh, the, Hawaiian modality of massage therapy, and it's okay. an ancient Hawaiian ritual. Once you've had it, once you've had it, you never yeah, go back. Right? Go back. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's just awesome. But we also do with traditional massages, facials. Okay. We use all organic products. Okay. Uh, Eminence Organic Skincare is our facial line. Well, if you want a really good massage here in the Arizona and the Phoenix metro area, definitely check out Hawaiian Experience Spa. There's some great stuff out here. I might get myself a bag. All in all, today was a lot of fun. It was really crowded, and a lot more crowded than I've ever seen the Aloha Festival in the past. Which is a good thing, because the group that puts this festival on is a nonprofit. All their t-shirt sales and the sales of water go towards running the festival. So it is a really, really great value, being that it's free, and you can bring the whole family, but you're supporting a culture. You're supporting a group that wants to share their culture. And the Polynesian, the Pacific Island culture is amazing, and it's beautiful the dance, the language, the music, the food, the crafting. And it's all here in Arizona at the Aloha Festival. I advise you, come next year, make sure you bring a chair, make sure you bring sunscreen, make sure you have your umbrella, and make sure you bring a camera because there are plenty of photo opportunities.